Okay. Can you calibrate a mechanical thermostat? Now, electronic thermostats, mostly not. I mean, there are sometimes you can put offsets in them through the software. But mechanical thermostats, they're not always accurate. You know, these things have got two doohickeys on them. One, this is the temperature. Okay? That's just this funky thing here. It's a little bimetal. And then the other one is the actual thermostat itself, and that's this bimetal right here. Okay. Uh, most of them use some sort of coil of bimetal. So can you actually calibrate this, and what is calibration? Well, calibration, simply enough, is matching it to a known temperature, say a thermometer, that's accurate, and matching the thermostat itself to the known temperature. Okay, can I actually adjust, calibrate the thermostat itself uh, to match what the real temperature is in the room? They do get out of calibration, they get knocked around on the walls, sometimes they just go out. Well, there's also a can and a should I'm not sure you should. You should replace a the thermostat. But I've had people, you know, they don't have any money or anything like that. And is there a way that you can calibrate this thermostat? Well, take this one. This one's lever is right here. And looks like it's quite a ways off now. Uh, now, I'm not talking about the anticipator. That's a different ball game. I'll, I'll link anticipators at the end of this thing if you're interested in... Uh, looking at those. But you can go to the back of this thing and if you take this off, the little plastic thing there, you can actually take a pair of pliers right there and rotate back and forth. And of course you're holding this while you're doing it. You can actually rotate this back and forth and make it more or less for the temperature. Okay, you can actually do it. This is way off, not even close. <laughs> it's really off now. Uh, but you can, by holding that back there and rotating this or vice versa, holding here, turning here, and holding here. Either way, you can actually adjust this thermostat. Uh, calibrate it. It's not easy to do because when you finish calibrating it and you move it a little bit, and you usually just move it a little tiny bit, uh, then you have to wait for a while because your fingers are around it and they heated the bimetal. And you have to let it settle, settle, and then uh, you can try again and see how close you come. Now this didn't, uh, this doesn't, well, you got to put the plastic thing back on. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And it's way off, but uh, this is the old T87, probably the most common mechanical thermostat in the world. It also can be calibrated. Now here, if you look at the back, see that little doohickey right there? That, if you take a pair of pliers and you hold it, and then you rotate this, you can actually get that, you can change the calibration on it. So, uh, there are ways to do it. And of course there is the issue, should you do it? Of course you should. But you can actually do it if you want to, if there's a situation where the, uh, the customer can't do anything about it, doesn't have any money or something like that. You might be able to get them by, but I'd never recommend you leave them that way because I just don't think it's a good idea. But you can calibrate them. And there are different thermostats, different methods. You just have to look at each one and figure out what you can do to actually change that calibration. I hope this thing makes sense, and uh, that's it on this one.